New at six, we all know the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But what if you can't afford that apple or any other vegetable for that matter? The truth is one in four American children regularly goes hungry. And so some hospitals are filling in the food gap down on the farm. Monica Rusi is always on the prowl for ways to keep her son healthy, especially after he was diagnosed with autism last year. She was surprised when doctors pulled out their prescription pads and ordered food, not pharmaceuticals. Food is really important. Being a single mom with two kids and trying to eat healthy is a challenge most of the time. Twice a month, low-income patients can pick up fresh produce, lean protein, and whole grains free of charge. The food pharmacy program comes after a four-month hospital study where patients were prescribed food as their medicine. And what we ended up finding was that it improved not only the, the health of the household, but we also saw changes in the children. I'm a medical doctor and I prescribe medicine, but I always like to take the natural approach whenever possible, and food is medicine. The study also revealed healthy eating not only alleviates symptoms among children, it could even reduce the impact of chronic diseases among their patients. Monica says the difference in her son since starting the program is remarkable. It does alleviate a lot of the symptoms associated with um, some of his medical challenges. If we don't deal with and know about and help families with the basics of their life, then we can't get to the important medical issues at hand. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Now, doctors also report that once children are introduced to more fruits and vegetables, they get more interested in trying new fresh foods. Other programs similar to the food pharmacy have sprouted up in Pennsylvania and in Boston.